welcome welcome back to the channel i'm amira um this is gonna be a general reading for my taurian bull gang all right wherever you have Taurus in your chart may resonate guys don't forget to watch your other placements though okay this reading is general timing is fluid everyone's trajectory is different and humans will ultimately be humans okay so keep that in mind as we go through the energy um, general message, Taurus. Okay, we're just winging it. What's the most relevant message for my Taurus at this time, please? All right, I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, Taurus. What's this? Page of Pentacles. All right. I feel like somebody has a good idea, <laughs> an idea to make money, profit in particular, I'm hearing. So maybe you have a business or something hasn't really been growing. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. All right, but you, I feel like somebody has a new idea or you're learning a new skill that will um, bring you forward. This could also be a relationship as well, right? There's something I feel like that somebody has been investing their time and specifically their emotions into. It's not just time and money, right? There's an emotional investment um, or a spiritual attachment, even if you will. I feel like you're pouring your heart into something. So however that resonates for you, but I feel like it has not been growing or there's been this period of stagnation or maybe even just boredom where you're like, okay, what do I need to do to open my mind to a new idea? What do I need to do to make a profit? What do I need to do to make this more fun, interesting, or just to grow it in general, okay? I'm hearing developer. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus. Okay. Maybe you are a developer, you're hiring a developer, searching for one or whatever. I feel like you there's a there's a project here that you are really interested in growing. I feel like somebody may be building a house too, or maybe you're buying a house or you bought one. I feel like you are you're developing something. Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, yeah. Oh, yeah, like I said, you're pouring your heart into something. The Queen of Cups is emotionally driven, but she's also super spiritual. She works in, in, in tandem with the moon, right? She's creative. She's loving. She loves herself, and so she loves other people. She pours her heart and soul into things. This is beautiful energy. All right, what's the Ace of Pentacles? I feel like two towards your whatever it is that you're that you're doing, you're balancing um, your emotions well, which is helping this to grow. All right. What's the Ace of Pentacles, please, for my stories? Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Okay. I heard commit to it. Okay. Commit to it. All right. Commit to it, Taurus. <laughs> what is the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah. You know what it means to devote yourself, all right? And I feel like, okay, maybe you're, maybe you're nervous about that. Yeah, the strength card. You're a little nervous about totally committing to something or someone, all right? Not sure how much it's gonna take. I mean, obviously, if the strength card is showing up, it's gonna take a lot out of you. It's gonna take your courage. It's gonna take your resilience. It's gonna take your endurance. It's gonna take your emotional management and self control. It is gonna take a lot out of you. But you're Taurus. You know how to devote yourself, and so you you you're capable of this. Yeah, the, but the death card. Okay. All right. What's we'll the Pentacles for Taurus? The Ace of Pentacles always takes a lot of work, okay? But it's worth it in the end. Because you're building something that's going to affect your future in a positive way. Uh, did I say something about planes? I don't remember if I said it out loud, but I was getting something about planes or maybe this has to do with travel. You're traveling somewhere, you work on planes, you work, you work with planes. I'm not sure. All right, but something's definitely changing. I feel like something is growing. Like I said, it's taking off. Yeah, the Five of Cups. All right, why is the Five of Cups here, Taurus? The Ten of Cups. Yeah, and the Tower. <laughs> so something's changing or there's an opportunity here for it too the tower is showing up because this universal um uh 
um, intervention. All right. I don't feel like you've been unhappy, Taurus, but there's an opportunity to expand your happiness. And so it's sort of a risk. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, all the tens are an ending in the tarot, whether it's the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, or the Ten of Wands. They all represent the end of a particular cycle. From this Ten of Pentacles, we go to the Ace again. So you may have, you know, a sturdy thing that's going to go for generations or affect generations or your future in some way, but it can't just stop here. It doesn't just stop here. There's always more to learn, more to grow, more ideas. Like I said, I feel like somebody has a new idea here. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's somebody that you work with. Maybe it's your partner, your significant other or whatever, but it's going to, it is, it's going to affect the future. All right, like some of you may be buying a home or getting married or building a business. All right, what's the five of cups? All right, it doesn't have to be perfect either. All right, something doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, the moon and the knight of, knight of pentacles, okay? Something does not have to be perfect here. I feel like somebody, somebody is really, really, okay, I heard creative. Yeah, you are. Yeah, but the justice card. All right. I feel like somebody's really timid about whether or not they should move forward. You don't really have all the answers. You can't really see everything, but that's a part of the emotional management. You're pouring your heart and your soul into something. And so, of course, um, you know, things from the subconscious are going to come up, but it's, it's, that's what also makes it a healing project. That's a part of, you know, your growth, your trajectory here. This is your justice. All right. Everything's going to work out and balance out the way that it needs to. Yeah, you may feel like something's taking too long or like I said, there's been stagnation or just boredom or what's next kind of vibes. OK, or somebody, somebody. This is all your energy showing up here, though. <laughs> what's the moon? You're all up and through this doing your thing. Yeah, there you are again, the Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you have an idea to progress Okay, or somebody does. The the six of pentacles, yeah, the four points. The six of pentacles though is is unexpected help just as much as the star is, which comes after the tower. Okay. It's an offer an opportunity for reciprocal energy, for reciprocation, you know, help from an individual, help from the universe, the government, um, a family member it's receiving the attention and support or balance that somebody has need especially if they've been in a deficit where needs were not being met all right that's how somebody has felt here but this is victory the four of wands all right all right so let me get you some oracles in here and then i'm going to close out this was a beautiful message <laughs> let's just see if we can clarify this energy okay for my Taurus, for my Taurus, please. I heard free delivery. Okay. Are you ordering something? Or maybe you're offering free delivery. All right. To make more of a profit or you offer free delivery and you need to charge for it. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Um, Taurus, please. Can you clarify this energy for Taurus? I heard bungalow. <laughs> okay, you're buying a bungalow? Yeah, Saturn and Sagittarius. Like, maybe you're dealing with the Sag, okay? But this ninth house energy of um, taking a risk, ultimately. Somebody, but somebody is fulfilled in that way by constantly searching for more. How can I expand? How can I grow? All right, what can I learn from this? I want to learn more. That helps me to feel fulfilled. That's sort of what this energy is. Exaltation, moon in Taurus, that's you. Maybe your moon is in Taurus. But yeah, somebody, yeah, that's the Six of Pentacles. All right, there's there's balance that wants to come in in, in a practical way for you, Taurus. It is. 
I feel like you are making this happen. Yeah, independence and criticism. Okay. Yeah. There's just two different points of view. Or, you know, for one person, it's really scary. That may be you, another person, whoever. Okay. Yeah, manipulation. Jupiter and Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, Taurus, this has been your reading. These have been your messages. I love you guys to life, okay? If I didn't say it, I'm a Taurus moon and Venus, so I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Um, I'll see you guys next time, though, okay?